Hi guys this is an AI and now on with the story chapter 76 Naruto's Pav. One single second it took me one second to realize the mistake that I had just made I looked down to see myself impaled. Again but this time it was by the black rods that Nagato used with his paths of pain I turned around. To see no one there I could feel them there but I saw nothing my eyes must have been playing a trick. On me or the person was invisible I looked to my left to see Sasuke impaled too, shit, I thought. Dropping to a knee while my jutsu dissipated, you forget that you yourself are also mortal Uzumaki. Madara said standing up, Naruto, Ba-chan yelled from a distance Hanada apparently who was next to me was able to dodge and break the black rods it struck me that the black orbs that once surrounded the Uchiha were nowhere to be seen I slowly stood back up trying to pull the rod from my abdomen I slowly struggled when Madara punched me across the face sending me crashing to the ground, imbecile. What made you think you could even lay a scratch on me, Madara yelled as I watched some of his wounds heal, shit. I thought, Karama you got any plans that may work? I asked, not a single clue. Kit. Karama thought for a little bit. Maybe we could. He didn't finish as the killer intent of two. People skyrocketed. Leave my baby alone. I heard as I watched Madara get wrapped up in golden. Chains I saw a bright yellow flash as two San appeared next to Madara rage filled in his eyes they were much colder than that of the Uchiha, Rasengan, two San yelled before slamming the jutsu into Madara's gut Madara was sent off into the distance away from myself and the rest of the allied shinobi force, Naruto, Ka-san and Tu-san yelled running towards me, I'm fine, I said as Hanada came up and was able to rip the rod from my abdomen rather painfully before breaking it, thanks Haim. I said standing up as Karama slowly healed my wounds, so the Namakaze and the Uzumaki want a fight. So be it, Madara said I stood up as Karama's chakra engulfed me once more, all right let's try this. Again, I said as Sasuke looked to his left suddenly before punching what seemed to be nothing but I. Felt someone was there I dropped to the ground feeling the presence behind me again as I created a cage bunch in that deflected the invisible thing upwards as I kicked it upwards as Hanada slammed it into the ground with her Yuho Soshikin, so you can sense Rinbo Hengoku how bothersome however that does not matter as you could never defeat me, Madara said as he made several hand seals, Katen Goka. Mekyaku, a large torrent of flames rolled towards me as I jumped into the air releasing a hail of my own tripronged kanai around the area, that trick won't work on me, Madara yelled deflecting some kanai away from himself. I just need one. I thought watching the man deflect every kanai away from himself. Wait I don't need one to land close I just need him to move near one and I'll have this, I thought, don't get cocky Kit, this isn't just a normal opponent he has become the Jinchuriki of the Jubi you must proceed with caution, Karama scolded me. Yeah yeah I hear ya you. Damn furball, I thought, oi who are you calling furball, Karama yelled I ignored that retort with a small grin as I planted my hand on the ground pumping my chakra into the earth below, it may not be. As good as Gara, but I must try, I thought as the earth began to quake a little, what is this? Madara questioned before making eye contact with me unready to cast a genjutsu sand began to surround the man which caused Madara to jump away and try and dodge the sand unaware of the tri-pronged kanai he was approaching, just a little further, I thought pushing the man back I watched as Madara's eyes widened as he stepped on the kanai, checkmate, I said before flashing to it right as I appeared I slammed my palm on the man's face leaving the Hiraishin seal as another chakra rod pierced through my gut spitting up blood I was able to slide off the black rod and flash to another kanai I watched as two San and Ka San rushed towards me, Naruto, they both yelled as Karama tried to heal my wounds, ah I'll be fine, I said wincing a little as I have been impaled. 
Multiple times today I threw a kanai and surrounded it with other kanai all with the Hiraishan seal. On it both two San and the Nidame who just arrived with the other cage that wasn't preoccupied. Raised an eyebrow, just watch. I said in the center of the circle of Kanai Madara appeared as I breathed in before flashing to one of the Kanai encircling Madara drawing two Kanai I channeled. Katen threw one Kanai and Futon in the other I slashed deep cuts into Madara the first wound was cauterized the second cut deep into the bone Madara let out a scream before attempting to jump back away but was flashed back to the center kanai I flashed to another kanai and switched from futon in. Katen to sweeten and raten these kanai ripped through the skin and muscle of Madara's ankles sending a shockwave through his leg while the blade that was powered by sweeten helped in thinning his blood. Causing the bleeding to quicken Madara dropped to his knees as he screamed in pain as I flashed to a New Kanai I now channeled Doton into the ground causing the earth to wrap around Madara's calf. Keeping him pinned to the ground I then channeled Hyaten and Shotten into the blades as I slashed. Madara's shoulders freezing the one and immobilizing the other in crystal I flashed around again. This time sealing away my Kanai and holding my hands out, Jishin Jenke Hakari no Jutsu, I yelled as. Madara was engulfed in the white glowing cube in a matter of seconds Madara was completely destroyed. Leaving no trace of him I dropped to my knees as the sun began to rise Hanada landed next to me. Wrapping her arms around me I look at her and wrap my own arms around her. We did it, she said as. Tears began to form in her eyes. Yeah. I think we did. I said with a smile epilogue three years later. Naruto could you get that? Hanada yelled from the kitchen as she put the finishing touches on the cake she was baking. Hi. I yelled running towards the front door of our new house opening the door. I was welcomed by my former teammate Sasuke Uchiha and his wife Sakura Uchiha. Ah you both could make it. I was really only expecting Sakura. I said knowing of Sasuke's long mission record. Hey I know it's a miracle I guess he actually wanted to be here for his child's first birthday. Sakura said nudging Sasuke with a twitch mark on her forehead it was then that I noticed the baby in. Sakura's arms their daughter Sarada Uchiha was born only two days after our son Boruto. Uzumaki Namakaze I then realized the two were just standing outside. Ah oh, where are my manners please? Come in, I said backing away giving them space after the two began to settle in more people arrived. Shikamaru and Tamari arrived as Tamari was holding her own son in her arms while Shikamaru complained about bothersome parties Tamari just smacked him upside the head glaring at him as he sighed massaging his sore head next there were Tenten and Neji Neji was holding a bright by a Kugan. Eyed boy on his shoulders as Tenten had a noticeable baby bump as they were expecting their second child accompanying the Hyuga couple was of course Gigi Hiyashi Hyuga who once again had tears in his eyes whenever he saw the three of us soon the rest of the Konoha 12 as well as Kiba's wife Tamaki who was coincidentally the granddaughter of Nekoba who is a shopkeeper in an abandoned city that Itachi and Sasuke interacted with heavily in their childhood also there was Choji's wife who was a baker from Iwa who decided to see if Konoha was as bad as she was told only to be saved by Choji and they have been together since she also carried their own daughter Kamiko also there was Enos husband hey Dickless the pale son of a bitch said walking in as Eno was struggling with their son Enojin Sai. I said with a glare he walked in interacting with everyone else as Eno walked in. Next, I'm sorry about him I guess some things they couldn't rehabilitate out of him, she said with a slight bow. Don't worry about it Eno, I said waving it off then there was Lee. Hey, I said as Lee was holding his son's hand as he walked up to the door. Hello Naruto, he said attempting to use the old youthful passion he once had but it was clear that since his wife died in childbirth he hadn't been the same. How have things been with you and metal? 
I asked as he put on a genuine smile and spoke, Metal and I are doing well Naruto I thank you for your concern, he yelled before. Entering the building Guy sensei shortly followed along with Asuma sensei and Kuranai sensei the couple had decided begrudgingly to take care of Guy sensei they also had Mirai who just turned four. Akira who just turned two a month ago and I could see the smiles on their faces much like they had. When they learned of Mirai and Akira, so number three huh, I said as they walked up to the door. W. Wa. Kuranai sensei said blushing crazily as Asuma laughed. How did you know, she asked, well. One of our first lessons as shinobi was to look underneath the underneath, I said smiling while. Congratulating them silently not wanting to ruin the reveal, Guy sensei I said before they could. Walk in, Yash Naruto how can I assist you, he yelled performing a single hand stand, could you talk? To Lee I think he may need some reinvigoration, I said with a sad smile Guy sensei stopped with the shenanigans and nodded knowing the situation of his prized pupil last to arrive before the party. Started was Haku and his wife Yugito as well as their daughter Fuyumi, it's good to see you too, I said as they entered, it's good to see you as well Naruto I am surprised that Asama let us come. Haku said smiling Haku had moved to Kumo with permission from Ba-chan to be a representative of Konoha within Kumo after the treaty was signed aligning the great nations as we celebrated both. Boruto and Sarada's birthdays at the same time there was one last knock on the door I walked over to. The door and opened it seeing two San Kakashi and Ka San Anko holding a four-year-old boy with silver gravity defying hair with some purple strands, yo, both father and son said as they both got a fist upside the head, Kakashi Shinobuko, Ka San yelled, Gomen, they both said nurturing their Sore heads the party then continued with the new guests as Ba Chan and Gara were too busy with Cage's business the night grew older and people began to get tired and needed the necessary sleep to keep up with their children's energy after the party ended with many gifts passed towards the new one-year-olds and the departure of friends and family Hanada and I laid Boruto in his bed for some Rest as we stood in the doorway watching for a while, Naruto-kun. Hanada said, yes Haim, I asked. W. Would it be alright if we tried to g, give Boruto a little s, sister or b, brother, she said. Blushing crazily, if that's what you want Haim, I said as we ventured back to our room leading with. Our lips interlocked. Naruto. This was the tale of the Namakaze hidden Keke Genke and I Naruto. Uzumaki Namakaze will continue to protect my home with all I've got a NNND cut that is the end of the story folks I will upload tomorrow CYA.